You're in threes. The person, the, the group of three that goes in the most is a forfeit. <laughs> everybody else over here. Come, come, Everybody come. with me, with me, everybody. <laughs> One snowball. One snowball each. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From here. Go! Pertama, mas. Pertama kali. Seneng-seneng kaget gimana gitu. Terus telepon keluarga, cerita-cerita kalau salju itu begini, pegang salju begini, rasanya begini. Gitu. Uh, mungkin karena ada salju mungkin makin tambah dingin ya. Tapi bagi saya mudah-mudahan tidak ada halangan buat latihan. yang biasa mas, soalnya latihannya disintetis so today we're obviously going to just train um, weather's not ideal of course with the snow but um, I'm sure when the boys get going they'll be fine so of course today we should have been playing Luton um, but with the current climate and obviously the, the Covid and tier 4 rules down in London they've, they've had to call the game off which is unfortunate so instead, you know, it snowed today, so that makes it fun. It makes it different for them, you know. You know, sometimes training can get monotonous. Well, the snow brings another dimension. You're in threes. The person, the, the group of three that goes in the most is a forfeit. On your toes, be ready. Everybody else over here. Everybody with me, with me, everybody. One snowball. One snowball each. Okay. From here. Go. 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 So we're going to play um, small-sided games here. Three teams of six. Now, listen, now you've got used to the surface, it's difficult, but it is okay. You have to punch the ball in, yeah? Losing team gets blasted. Hey! So, of course, with the Luton game being called off um, on Thursday, we're going to play 11 v 11 between ourselves, so sort of an in-house friendly game. Probably before the game, we'll go through some videos, but we're looking from them, positional and game understanding. Go! Anytime you play behind sort of closed doors or you play games between yourselves, it, there's always a, a worry that it'll be at half pace and people won't really take it seriously. So hopefully they'll, they'll take that on board and they'll, they'll get a good 90 minutes. What well up, fellas? È la prima volta che gioco con la squadra sulla neve. E, um, è stato molto divertente e era difficile giocare perché scivola e tutto però è stata una cosa diversa e molto, molto simpatica e divertente 
Uh, pastinya kalau bagi kiper lebih susah karena bola kan jadi lebih licin karena esnya ini terus semua kayak tangan sama kaki mati rasa jadi buat pergerakan kita nggak nggak ini sih nggak bisa sì allora è stato stato bello tornare in campo dopo tanto tempo e aver giocato la partita mi aiuta a a sapere cosa devo migliorare guardo la partita e dico questo è stato un mio errore quindi devo migliorare in allenamento su questo tipo di esercizio di movimento e ho molto più confidenza e non vedo l'ora di giocare la prossima Hari ini kita mau apa ngasih kue buat Daniel buat ngerayain ulang tahunnya karena hari ini Daniel berulang tahun. Sudah kayak gimana? Dan kelas sebagai pemain kayak gimana? Uh, orangnya 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 apa? Humoris. Orangnya selalu bercanda-bercanda uh, sama anak-anak terus selalu buat anak-anak semangat lah soalnya uh, apa dia selalu uh, membuat hal-hal yang konyol Luar biasa saya senang sekali karena diberi hadiah seperti begini tidak se seperti biasa yang cuma berkumpul sama teman terus apa cuma bakar-bakar terus seperti yang ini diberikan keju kue yang bagus. I love you so much. <laughs> Saya senang, saya senang sekali, luar biasa bisa mendapatkan hadiah seperti begini. Guys, this is uh, something that we go through after a game to analyze certain stuff to help you, not have a go at you. Understanding of the game, understanding what your jobs are, not only is it to pass the ball, not only is it to, to tackle, but it's taking up certain positions and understanding um, certain situations that occur on a pitch. Daniel's a character. His positional sense gets himself into trouble. Um, he has a situation where he dives in a lot 
and he needs to stay on his feet. He needs to recognise that diving in and giving a foul away is, is not an advantage, it's a disadvantage. Daniel, welcome! <laughs> Okay. okay. Watch. Watch. Right. Stop. No. Right. Cannot see ball. You cannot see the ball, as they say, right? So you cannot possibly win that ball. To so wait. Look at the player. Look at the ball. <coughs> Where does he think that player is going to go next? Down here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where should you be? Yeah, ah, be. yes. Yeah. Right. Look, look. Because he okay. look. Now, now you get the right no, position. Now, now here, watch. Unblock me. Look. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I'm really sorry. Tired, but you understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just think about yeah. your teammates. Okay, for yeah. now. Back you come. <laughs> no, back now. Daniel, his enthusiasm and his will and his he's excellent. You know, you couldn't ask him any more from a player. And sometimes it's just to curb that enthusiasm to win the ball. And it's when not to actually go and win the ball and when to just show him where you want to. And it's just getting that fine balance. It's a fine balance, it's a learning curve. Right, kembang sedikit lah. Lebih sedikit karena belum apa. Mulai perasaan latihan di sini, gimana diberi oleh pelatih, caranya latihan di sini baiknya gimana gitu. Um, we brought in a, a new girl, Ellie. She used to work at a Cat One Academy, which is the top academy. I've managed to, to get her and bring her in. I'm Ellie Hargreaves, and at Garuda Select, I'm the head of medical and COVID lead. Ellie? Danny and Des, I worked with them at Derby County when they were coaching there. The COVID aspect of my job was really putting together a risk assessment of the training sessions, the boys in the hotel, in the rooms, and match day protocols. So we went through the training protocol and all the cones to be spread out. The boys put their bibs and their drinks down on their own cone. They go to that cone. The balls are sprayed down after training as well. And the boys are to maintain a social distance when they're walking down to training and walking back up. And the GPS data is really good because that kind of gives us an inkling of how close the boys have been together during training and for how long. Let's say if one of the boys tested positive, so we can monitor that as well. Day-to-day -day roles are obviously doing the temperature checks and questionnaires with the boys in the morning for COVID reasons. So we do that to ensure that they've got none of the COVID symptoms and then we do the temperature checks to make sure they don't have a temperature and that kind of gives us the green light to go outside. Obviously the game against Luton was cancelled because they're now in tier four and you're not allowed to travel outside of a tier four area. Well done, better. So obviously with the new strain of Corona, it's spreading a lot quicker. So there's been a lot of football cancelled, as I'm sure you're aware. So we need to be hyper vigilant in the terms of like the boys wearing masks, them sanitizing their hands. The boys were all tested and like I said, they're tested every day with temperature checks and questionnaires. And should anybody be symptomatic, then they're then isolated from the rest of the group. Yeah, we're taking COVID very seriously. Obviously, it's pretty much shut the whole country down for the best part of a year. So I don't think anyone's taken it lightly and we certainly aren't here. So we can hopefully keep up a lot of matches that way as long as we're very much on top of what we're doing here. Take care because that pass is gold. It's just, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you do this in game? This ball is not good ball. This ball is good ball. Simple ball. Not clever ball. Simple ball. Not always clever. Today we um, worked a lot on possession and keeping the ball, so we did um, a few different types of possession games. Um, just getting the boys moving it, one and two touch, moving the ball quickly and just trying to play a little bit more simple at times, I think. Remember the objective of the game. Oh, 
Well done, better. All right. Better radio. Simple. The theme this week has really been not giving the ball away too easy. I find that at times we give the ball away thinking there is no consequences of giving it away in bad areas. The consequences when you play against good teams, the ball ends up in the back of your net. Tell Nando that I want him to have the ball all the time. Kan tadi ada sesi satu satu sama satu kan sama pelatih. Iya. Apa sih disuruh lebih ke kalau minta bola ke tengah. Kalau ke tengah itu bisa cedera, kalau ke ke nyamping bisa ke lihat depan atau bisa putar balik. Well done, Nando. Uh, kalau ada tekanan sih pasti iya soalnya kan dari season kedua ke ketiga itu pasti beda pemainnya terus juga ketemu teman baru apa mencari teman baru gitu agar bisa berinteraksi dengan orang lain itu mudah. Well done, Nando. Simple. Oh great smile. Oh what a great great goal. Nando. I'm just trying to get into the boys' heads that they have to really take care with that final ball and you know that can translate into the game sometimes with especially midfield players that final pass to put someone through on goal or if you're a wide player that final cross just really need to take care to create more opportunities and more scoring chances. Now it's about somebody taking responsibility. If you can go forwards and you've done the passes if it is on for you to play forward play forward. apa pembentukan otot tubuh-tubuh dan paha terus leading the game berarti lagi apa berarti menjadi lebih baik lagi the quality when they were taking care and concentrating on that pass was really much better it was pleasing towards them it was good Obviously, COVID is, is still all over the place. So therefore, the game, unfortunately, is called off. So we decided to have 11 v 11 to give them a good blow, a proper game, so they're still in match mode. I just want them to now play the game, enjoy it, work hard, work on the things that we've been doing with them and implement them into the game. And that's what we're, we're looking for today. The last two days training, brilliant, okay? Ball, that's nice and thing. Don't give ball away, silly. And simple. You get ball in here, boom, you give roughly, you give, you give, you give, and you go towards goal to score a goal. Tucking! Well done, Dad! Tucking! Tucking! Get out to him. No! Oh, no! Get back in! Get the box! Go keep up! Dice! Dice! Whoa, 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 whoa! One second, stand still. Right. When the ball's travelling, you're like this. The minute you see good ball, now you can turn here. You see bad ball, you run back here. Okay. There's not a lot of understanding of the game. They just play football. So it's really about um, positions that you need to be in, um, how you help your team out, teammate out, um, how you approach a player, pointing it out and showing them in a nice kind of way is very important for them to understand. Yes? Okay. Daniel here, you here, perfect. Hold it, hold it! Mainnya cukup bagus karena tadi diberi oleh pelatih kan, bagaimana caranya bermain terus caranya untuk 
apa menyerang gimana terus kalau kalau macam naik naiknya naik jangan terlalu inilah lihat macam ada ada apa ada yang menyerang bisa ini You know, there was a lot of mistakes against Port Vale. We want to cut them mistakes out. There's a lot to work with, and it's important that um, we do it for them. Zanny, yeah. stop, sta stop standing in there because he's easy to mark. Come here and see what he does, right? Your fullback. <coughs> he's going to pass me the ball, right? Come close to me, right? By you coming close to me, what does that do behind? Space. So when you come, I, woof, I'm gone. And Reed can play you there. Why do you want to be like that all the time and you go back? You want to open up and be able to see everything. Okay? Go on. Get you. They'll get it gradually. It's early doors. Go on. Play on. Go on, Rafi. Go on, Rafi. Got what you deserve. Hey, Renzo, goal scorer. Oh, 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 Ya pertandingan yang cukup luar biasa sih sama-sama sengit di lini, lini tengahnya. Permainan saya cukup bagus. Menurut tim ya kurang kompak aja. Yeah, well, look, some boys are going to take it on board quicker than others. It's development. If they do great, if they don't, then we try and help them as much as we possibly can. This game's a learning process at their age and they're, they're, they're where they're at in the game. So it's then taking that constructive criticism and then hopefully they can translate that into games like this and into the, the games when we play other teams. Me and Dares and the staff feel the same as well. We want to help the boys and, and develop them as people and and make sure that they're okay over here and they're settled and, and enjoy their football and, and play with a smile on their face. So obviously we've gone into lockdown, so we've decided to do more of a pre-season and make use of the five weeks that we can't be playing matches. We'll see an improvement in their fitness and when the games come along, they'll, they'll be ready to play. It's really affected us, we've got to say that. So we're going to go for a bit of a 5K run in twos. Me and Jake are going to go ahead and show them a route on a bike, which we're very excited about. There was a bit of a gap between Rido and Nando. He got lost. 